Okay guys, we're back. Sorry about uh, these videos not covering a lot in each video. Obviously there's a 10 minute time limit and also uh, I don't know what, l what level of expertise you have in 3D modeling or moto, so I'm kind of covering more than I need to at the beginning. It will start moving a little faster. Um, that being said, now there's these uh, smoothing issues that, that you can see on this part here that we need to deal with from creating these new lines. Uh, and basically uh, what we're going to do is going to use our slice tool, or excuse me, our edge slice tool and you can access that here or just press the C key. I'm going to press the C key. What you want to do is um, go to the vertex, uh, C key again, click on it and then just click on that edge and it'll cut right across and you can move this back and forth but I want to keep it kind of straight. I'm going to end the tool. Now that does create another problem. Now we have a triangle so we want to deal with that. Um, again if you want to it's not necessary to deal with triangles, but I don't I like to leave them in there. Um, it causes problems later on. Um, as you will see, we'll have to deal with that. But uh, you can see that that has flattened out that panel. But again, I'm going to take this triangle out and do that by, um, again, using the edge slice tool, clicking there, and then going up to the top of this one and clicking there. Press the space bar to end the tool, and then I'm actually this line, the original line, and this line, and just delete those out. And now we are back to uh, all, or excuse me, all four-sided polys. Actually, we got one. Oh yeah, because that's the front, the basically the other side of what we just did. So we need to do that same thing over there. So I'll press C, cut from there to about there, spacebar, and then press C again and cut from there to right about there, edge mode, and delete that. that original uh, that original line, vertical line. Okay, so there we have it. Um, now we have all, again, four-sided polys. And we're ready to start pulling out the rest of this uh, vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my left-hand view, go into wireframe, undo subdivision mode. And basically from here, it's just pulling out edges and putting them in uh, vertexes and edges into place. And I'll show you what I mean by that. In the edge mode, I'm going to select this edge right here. I'm going to press the Z key, which is, um, as you can see, extend. Just click on the screen and then pull that out. Okay, now that needs to be put down here. And just hit the rotate key. And just rotate that. And actually, you can pull this, by the way, this little um, gizmo out here. And it will give you a little bit uh, easier time making the curve go slower or the rotation go slower and so just pull that out space bar looks like it needs um, to be straightened out a little bit on the vertex mode move those over okay not bad um, and <clears throat> I want to actually build around this light and leave a hole for the light as you can see in my let's see my model here I just left holes where the lights are and so that way we don't have to try to cut them in later it's a little bit easier uh, to deal with it now so um, for now I'm just gonna uh, leave this I'm gonna go to the back and then I'm gonna grab this edge here Z to extend click pull it out and probably about right there and then I'm gonna press shift and click again to reactivate the tool and pull this out again and I'm, again I'm going about halfway down this curve and then lining it up with this uh, and I'll show you that in a minute when I when I pull it down but then I want to go out to about the back of the slide so I'm going to do it again shift click pull it out there and then just start moving these into place one 
vert mode. Put these where they belong. Obviously those ones are going to be very close together. Okay, zoom out, and now I can start pulling uh, some of this detail down. So go back into edge mode, grab this, press Z, click, pull it down, about a third of the way, shift click, pull it down again, shift click, pull it down again, and then start moving them into place around the outside part of this wheel. Go to selection center, selection, um, and they think the mode will be back to hit the E key, yeah, it's going to be the back, so I'm going to rotate that into place, and then grab, oops, grab this edge, remove that into place, grab that edge, move that into the place, and you can see that's going to cut across that light, so we're going to need to deal with that. One way we can do that is just grab one of the verts and move it to the corner and then we'll go ahead and just select this polygon and we'll put uh, click shift C to select the slice tool and we'll just make a slice across like that grab this vert move it into place this one needs to be moved over a little bit more <clears throat> okay now I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because um, as I'm pulling these out to the side, the car is curving, so I need to actually look into my model quad and the top view here and make sure that these are ending up in the right place. As you can see, they're not. So I need to make sure that I grab, for example, these, which are at the bottom of the car. Uh, they will need to be lined up with this. This one here needs to be moved, or these two, actually line up and you can start to see these um, need to be moved in this is where it gets a little tricky because it's kind of hard to see the lines in the car and if you zoom too far in you lose your your backgrounds so you just gotta zoom in and out and check all your different views and make sure that you're in the right place now you can see in this view these need to be moved over let's do verts I'm going to select automatic on the action center. That is going to be, these two need to be right about at the beginning of that light. These ones actually probably need to line up these ones here. imagine that these here are going to be kind of right there on that line and so on. So now you're just going to keep doing this until all these verts line up to where they're supposed to be in um, all your different views and um, <clears throat> you know the top view and we can actually zoom out here I click on this and so we're starting to curve around the back. And then we're going to do start doing things like grabbing this edge, this edge, pressing Z, clicking, moving it out. And I'll actually just kind of put that right in the middle. And then with my scale tool, scale those zero for now. They may not end up being zero later on, but that's okay. Press W, zoom out. Click. Um, then we can grab, actually we'll just grab this edge and move this out. Now there's something I want to show you here in this video. Oops, I forgot to hit Z. Um, click. And move that out. Now one of the things that's going to happen is now we have edges that are separated and if we just bridge them or create polys there, they'll be three-sided so we need to actually join edges. Um, like we just like we did with polygons earlier, you can join edges. So I'll grab those two edges and just put uh, join averaged.